this is Tina Borelli, and I demonstrate KitchenAid products on QVC. Today I wanted to talk about our KitchenAid 9 Cup Easy Store Food Processor Plus unit. It's a 9 cup capacity, which is great. Most food processors go between about 7 cups and all the way up to 14 cups. So this right in the middle size is just perfect. It's all re redesigned, so it's easy to store, easy to use, easy to clean. I love it. It's going to come with three of these slicing and shredding discs and then two blades. So five accessories all together. So you're going to get this fine and thin slicing. It reverses from shredding to slicing. These are all stainless steel dishwasher safe, really nice quality. So this is your medium slicing that reverses to medium shred. And this one is only available with the plus model. This is your thick slicing blade. You're also going to receive your chopping blade or multi-purpose blade, stainless steel, great for making pie crust, for salsa, spreads, dips, cauliflower, rice, pizza sauce, so many things you can make. And also, only with the Plus model is your dough blade, and I'm gonna show you how to use that to make a cinnamon swirl bread. This is one I made earlier in the week, and we ate half of it already. Um, so let me go ahead and jump into the unit here. Now you're gonna say, oh, with all these blades and discs, how am I gonna store them all? Well, that's the beauty of this unit. So you're just gonna pop open the lid. Notice the lid stays upright. That helps keep any kind of goopiness that got inside the lid from mixing, from getting all over your countertop. But it can pop out to go right in the dishwasher. So love that stand up lid. Inside here, this is a sealed coupler. Let me show you what that looks like. That means that um, lots of food processors used to have a tube here, so liquids could go down into the tube. This is sealed much like a blender, and that makes it easier not to have spills, and then you can also clean it in an easy way like a blender, and I'll show you how to do that. But this is nine cup, BPA free, really sturdy, top rack dishwasher safe as well. And look how it just clicks on. No more twisting and locking and trying to get everything lined up. So then in here, let me show you how it all stores inside. So you put in your adapter, and then you pop in your multi-purpose blade, and it all stacks up. This is genius. There's your dough blade. So then each of the discs have kind of a cross hole on them so that they can be placed in here either in the upright position when you're going to use it or Here's the upright position flush with the top or they drop down in so that you can stack them all into place for storage. So this is so smart. Look at that. This is how it's going to be shipped to you and it all stores inside. So you don't have sharp blades in a drawer. You don't have an extra storage unit that you have to store and it's nice and sleek in design. Really doesn't take up much more space than maybe a salad plate on your countertop. So let's get in and I'll show you how to use it. So we're gonna use that dough blade. So I'm gonna put these blades off to the side here, pop out my metal multi-purpose blade, pop in my dough blade. So you just wanna make sure that goes all the way down to the bottom. Latch on the side to lock it in. Again, easy on, easy off. Oh, and let me show you the buttons down here in the front. So you're gonna have three speeds, and these buttons are really easy to press. It's just a lever. So that's your low speed. Notice it has a bright white LED indicator light. That's your high speed. And then over here, this is your pulse. And if you hold it down, it's even a higher speed yet. So great touch buttons there to turn it on and off. So, to make our cinnamon swirl bread, first we're gonna put our dry ingredients into our work bowl here. So in here I have two cups of flour, I have a teaspoon of salt, and I have three tablespoons of sugar. And you can find the recipe on my website, epicurecloud.com. I use instant yeast, so I'm just gonna add that right in. And 
we're gonna add in two tablespoons of softened butter. This is kind of a nice rich dough, a little bit sweeter, and it's delicious with a little cinnamon swirl filling. So I'm just gonna pop that lid on, and I'm just gonna mix together my dry ingredients first. Now, if you wanted to add raisins, you could add a half a cup of raisins at this point. I alternate because one daughter likes raisins and one daughter doesn't. So this batch is gonna be no raisins. Okay, and then here I have some water, some milk, and a beaten egg. And that's kind of room temperature. You can warm it up in the microwave. That'll just give your yeast a little bit of a head start. So when we want to mix doughs, you want to put your unit on high speed. And then I'm just gonna lift up the feed tube. So there's a large feed tube here a little one in here, and this has a little drizzle hole in it. And you just want to drizzle in your wet ingredients as it's going around. And it's going to mix it in and do some kneading for us. So you just want to let it go. with the yeast. So I'm going to take this lid off and I'm going to scrape the dough out into a bowl. This is a little bit of a stickier dough. I also make pizza dough in this food processor and that comes together into more of a, a ball. This one, a lot of sweeter doughs are a little stickier because it has the egg, has the butter in it. It's all good. So you just want to take out your blade and scrape that down and that can go right in the dishwasher for easy cleaning and we're going to scrape our dough out plop that right into a bowl all right we're gonna put that into a greased bowl so it doesn't stick and i'm going to put that aside so that can rise. I like to let it rise once and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. It really helps to give good, um, almost like fermented flavor to the dough. So then I'm gonna pop this lid back on here and I'm gonna show you that easy way to clean. So you can pop back in that adapter and pop on that multi-purpose blade. Now this is a little goopy here, but it's gonna really loosen it up for you in case you wanted to go ahead and make something else. So here I have three cups of warm water and I have a little squirt of dish soap in there. And I'm gonna put that lid on. Now it has a leak resistant seal here, so I just lock the lid, make sure that's all down nice and tight. Put in our feed tube there and just let that run. So you can see how it's pulling dough off of the sides there. This works really great when you're making like cauliflower rice or salsa. It really helps to get it clean. So you can do this quick clean if you're kind of in between steps of a meal. Take it to the sink, rinse it out, or you can pop it all in the top rack of your dishwasher. All the blades, all the discs, the whole bowl and lid and the pushers are all top rack dishwasher safe. So you can see it did a nice job of pulling that dough around there. I'll give that a little bit of a more in-depth clean over there because it has that sticky dough inside. But um, after you make your dough, this is what it's going to look like. This is our cinnamon swirl bread. So this is the KitchenAid 9 cup easy store Food Processor Plus, remember with the Plus model, you get the dough blade to make your doughs and you get that thick slicing disc. Remember, all the discs stack up right inside the unit, which is super handy. So it's easy to store, easy to use, and easy to clean. So let me know if you have any questions. You can check out my website 
epicurecloud.com for lots and lots of recipes. You can reach out with any questions. I'm happy to help anytime. Thanks so much. Once again.